How is it going YouTube? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. Um, first off, I've got to congratulate uh, President-elect Donald J. Trump. I mean, absolutely amazing victory. Won the election, won the House, won the Senate. Could not be happier for America, for freedom. Um, yeah, absolutely outstanding uh, victory and I can't wait to see what the next four years bring to the table. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. Um, he just slew his beast and today I'm I'm going to slay one of my own. Today's beer is from Avery Brewing Company out in Boulder, Cal Colorado, out in the U.S. of A. This is their beast, Grand Cru. Um, it's a Belgian-style dark ale coming in at 17.2% alcohol by volume, so a huge beast indeed. Um, yeah, it's brewed with raisins, dates, molasses, and honey. It sounds absolutely just phenomenal, so can't wait to get this one cracked, poured, and see how it is. All right, the appearance on the beast. A finger and a half of a beautiful, fluffy, frothy, soapy, off-white head. Really beautiful looking head on this one. The uh, body is just full of carbonation and alcohol legs just dripping down the side of the glass. Um, pretty uh, crystal clear, bit of haze on the body, but uh, pours a beautiful, um, I'd say like mahogany brown, ruby red kind of color. Really beautiful looking brew. Let's get an aroma. Hmm, that smells good. Yeah, it's got the classic like quadruple Belgian dark ale notes. Definitely getting the raisin, some honey. Lots of brown sugar, some nice like caramelly kind of notes, some uh, banana bread, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a great smelling beer. Cheers. Wow, yeah, 17.2%. You can definitely tell it's a big, big beer. Uh, nice alcohol warmth down the uh, esophagus there, down the chest. Some nice uh, spice rum kind of notes that I often get in Belgian dark ales. Uh, yeah, really nice uh, spice rum kind of booziness to this one. And then it goes into these beautiful banana bread, these nutty, nutty uh, kind of flavors, you know. Hints of like a, a slight chocolate, some vanilla. Maybe a slight hint of like a uh, medium roast kind of coffee in the background there. Or almost like a light roast kind of coffee, something like that going on. Really beautiful flavors. I'm getting some, uh, yeah, definitely getting those raisins, some prunes, some uh, dark fruit, stuff like that. Some cherry maybe. Uh, some honey, nice sweetness to this one. Nice sweet beer, that's for sure. Um, it's definitely a sipper. It's nothing I'd uh, drink two of in a night, but that being said, it doesn't have to be at 17%. So uh, this will uh, uh, carry you throughout the night, you know. Really, really good stuff. Uh, well, yeah, it's a rating on Avery's The Beast Grand Crew. First off, got to say, amazing, amazing labeling on this one. Looks absolutely fantastic. I love Avery's uh, labels. Their Barrel Age series look fantastic. Their Demon of Ales series just look phenomenal. The Mistopheles, the uh, Samael uh, brews all just look absolutely great. But, um, yeah, uh, slightly boozy, but that being said, the uh, flavor more than makes up for that. I would, yeah, I guess it was around 13, 14, not 17 percent. Absolutely monstrous beer. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. As a rating, I go right around. Like a, uh, like a uh, high B plus, like a 89 right around there. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic, you know. But, um, yeah, to let me know what y'all think of Avery Brewing's The Beast. Any of Avery's other beers, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.